Dates incorrectly formatted as text is one of the most common problems we face in Excel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix them using Power Query. And the nice thing about this technique is it can be easily refreshed to pick up new dates. Be sure to watch to the end where I cover a date problem that comes up all the time when importing data from CSV or text files that contain US formatted dates. Here I've got five common incorrect date formats. Now the problem with these dates is their text and Excel cannot work with text dates in formulas or group them in pivot tables, among other things. And there are a few ways we can tell these dates are text, but one of the simplest is to use the keyboard shortcut, the control key with the back quote symbol. It's typically found in the top left of your keyboard and it shares the same key as the tilde symbol. Now this keyboard shortcut removes any formatting and it will show you formulas rather than their results. And what we're looking for here is the dates and times to display in their date serial number format. So if I correctly enter a date and press enter, what I see is the date serial number. And if I enter a date and a time, let's say 1 p.m., it shows the time in the decimal portion of the date. Now I'm not going to go into any more detail here on how Excel works with dates and time, but if you want to learn more, there's a link in the video description to my comprehensive Excel date and time tutorial. So it's clear that I need to fix all the dates here. So I'm going to press control and the back quote symbol again. Let's delete those dates. I don't need them anymore. Before I get started, I want to point out that my date format is day, month, year. So that's what I'll be working with in this example. But if your date format is month, day, year, these techniques will automatically adapt to your system settings for your location. So you don't need to do anything different. Notice that my dates are already in Excel tables. So all I need to do is go to the data tab of the ribbon. If you have Excel 2010 or 2013, you'll go to the dedicated power query tab and then from table slash range. This opens the power query editor where we can fix the date format. You can see in the applied steps, Power Query has already applied a change type step and it's set the data type to a number, which is what the 123 indicates. I need to delete that change type step because it's not correct. Now there's the hard way of fixing these dates and the easy way. I'm going to cover the hard way first because this can be used for almost any date format, so it's a handy backstop skill to have. I'll start by splitting the text into the three date components, day, month, and year. So on the home tab, we want split column by positions. So I want to split it at the first position, the second and the fourth. Click OK. And now we have three columns, one for my day, one for the month and one for the year. Again, it's automatically applied the change type step and it set the data type as a number, which is perfect. That's what I need to create my date. Now there are a couple of ways you can merge the dates back together. One is to add a custom column using the date function. Now the date function requires the year, which is in column three, then the month, and then the day. And let's click OK. And now we have the date. All I need to do is change the data type to date, and it's good to go. The other way is to select the first column, hold down shift, select the last column, and then we're going to merge the columns. So we can add a merge column or you can simply transform the existing columns. It doesn't really matter. Here I'm going to choose a custom separator. The standard date separator is the forward slash. I'm going to leave the column name as merged. I'm going to delete it in a moment anyway. So I'll click OK. Now we have the columns merged back together. It looks like a date, but let's set the data type as date. And now it's good to go. So there's a couple of ways to create a proper date from an incorrectly formatted date by splitting out the components and then joining them back together. But there's an even easier way. So I'm going to go back and delete all of the previous steps. So we're back to our text. And then on the add column tab, I'm going to do column from examples. Now make sure if you have more than just one column of data, which is probably likely, that you first select the column that you want to fix and then choose column from examples from selection, which means the currently selected column. Here I'm going to type in the first example. So I want 06 slash 06 slash 2020 and then down arrow. And then let's give it another example that hasn't recognized the pattern yet. 
And there we go, it's recognized the pattern. We can see up here the formula that it's going to insert for me. All I need to do is click OK. There's my dates. Let's change the data type to date. We can get rid of this column now and rename this one date. And I'm ready to close and load. So on the Home tab, I'm going to close and load too. We'll put it just below the original table. Click OK. And there's our correctly formatted dates. Let's do the control and the back quote test. We can see they're correctly entered as date serial numbers. So control and back quote again. Let's go to example number two. Again, I'm going to load this data to Power Query. And ta-da! It's automatically detected that this is dates and set the data type accordingly, which has formatted the dates for me in day, month, year. But what if I wanted the dates displayed how they were originally? That is with the month name, then the day, then the year. Well, formatting like this isn't done in Power Query. And a lot of people get stuck trying to format data inside a Power Query when the place for formatting is in the Excel grid. So I'm going to close and load two, and let's do the formatting in the grid. Pop it below and click OK. So all I need to do if I want to format it so the month name is visible is open the format dialog box, control one. Let's create a custom format. And here we want month, day, comma, and the year. I'll click OK. And now we have our correctly formatted date serial numbers displaying the month name, then the day, then the year. Let's load the next example, data from table range. This time I'm going to use the column from examples again. And we'll just start by typing in a six. Notice it's brought up a list of possible transformations that I might want. And the one that I want is actually the second one. So I'll select that and press enter and tab. It's automatically entered the formula up here. And I can see by the preview that it's correct. So I'll click OK. Let's get rid of the original column. Just press delete. And we'll rename this one and we're good to close and load. So you can see it's super easy sometimes, just depends on the format. The next example contains dates and time. Let's load them to Power Query and we'll see how to tackle this. And there you go, I haven't had to do anything. It's correctly fixed the data type as date and time. All I need to do is close and load too. Choose where I want to put it and click OK. Notice the default formatting in Excel is using 24 hour time, but again, I can fix this with a custom format. All I need to do is add on AM slash PM, and you can see in the preview, it's going to format it in the correct time for me. I can also change this to show the month name if I prefer. I'm going to leave it as is. And there we have date and time correctly formatted. Again, control and the back quote, shows me the date time serial numbers. Now the next example shows the dates here are actually in month, day, year format. Let's take a look at how Power Query handles this. Notice the automatic change type step has set the type as text. We can tell that by the ABC in the column header. This is clearly not right. My locale is set to English Australia, so Power Query can only automatically recognize dates that match my date format of day, month, year. So I'm going to delete that step. Now the way we fix dates that are in the wrong locale is click on the icon in the top left, then using locale. This allows us to choose the locale of the source data. So the data type here I want is date slash time. And the locale is the locale where the data came from. So that is United States. So what we want is English United States. Click OK and Power Query takes that US date format and converts it into my locales format, which is day, month, year. Let's close and load two. And we'll pop it below. The last example I want to show you is when you import data, maybe from a CSV file or a text file, and the dates are formatted for a different locale. For example, here I have a CSV file containing dates. And if we open it in Notepad, you can see it's a list of dates for January, but it's in the US date format of month, day, year. 
Now normally your CSV or text files are going to contain more than just a column of dates. I've just kept it simple for this example. Let's take a look at what happens when we open this file in Excel. Let's make the column wider and we can see what's going on. Now you can see the first 12 dates have been formatted as a date data type. And if we press control and the back quote, you can see they are date serial numbers. However, if we go back and we format them to show the month name, let's give them a custom format, day, month, year. You can see they're not correct because this should be a list of January dates. And then of course we have the list of dates after January 12 that are still in a text format. So what's happened here is Excel has assumed that the first 12 dates in the CSV file are dates in my locale format of day, month, year, and it's applied the date data type. But then it's got to the next set of dates and it's gone, hold on, there's only 12 months in the year. These can't be dates, this must be text. And this is a really messy problem because often your data has this combination of dates scattered in no particular order throughout your data. Thankfully, it's easily fixed. Instead of opening the CSV or text file directly into Excel, you use Power Query to get the file. So I'm going to close this and not save it. And then on the data tab of the ribbon, from text slash CSV. There's my file. I'm going to import it. It gives me a preview. Now I need to transform it so that I can set the data type to the correct locale. Let's promote the first row as the header. And then all I need to do is click on the icon here and choose using locale. In the data type, I want date. And in the locale, it's English United States. That is the locale that is the origin of the data. I'll click OK. And now Power Query has converted the dates from US dates into my local date format, which is day, month, year. And now I can simply close and load and we'll leave it go into a table on a new worksheet. And there I have my dates ready to work with in the correct date format. And we can confirm their date serial numbers with control and back quote. I hope you found this technique useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.